The bulk of the tyre consists of another group of polymers, the natural and synthetic rubbers. Natural rubber starts off white and ends up black. Carbon black, which gives it its colour, is put there for added strength and improved abrasion resistance. Sulphur and a number of other chemicals are also added before it's chewed and mulched into a suitable consistency. The precise blend varies according to what the rubber is going to be used for. Synthetic butyl rubber is chosen for the inner lining. Butyl rubber is the liner of a tyre because of the resistance to permeation of gases. Obviously you don't want a tyre to deflate, so you need a polymer on the inside which is going to resist the uh, permeation of the gas. And we can show this by demonstrating a molecule of butyl rubber which is a fairly compact molecule. And if you compare that to the molecule of natural rubber, which is a far less compact molecule. There's not so much room, essentially, for the gas to permeate through that molecule as there is to the more open structure of a isoprene, polyisoprene type structure.